You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Great show today about making life worthwhile. Mm. And remember the subscribe button down below for CNA TV. My opening thought, it is when we forget ourselves that we do things that will be remembered. Life is now in session. Friends, making life worthwhile, commenting on her numerous interviews with people just before they died. Elizabeth Ross said, not one of them has ever told me how many houses she had or how many handbags or sable coats. What they tell you are very tiny, almost insignificant moments of their lives. Where they went fishing with a child. Where they tell of the mountain climbing trips. Some brief moments in an interpersonal relationship. These are the real things that keep people going to the end. They remember little moments that they had long forgotten. And they suddenly have a smile on their faces. And they begin to reminisce about little memories that make their whole life meaningful and worthwhile. It doesn't interest me what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for. And if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing, it doesn't interest me how old you are. I want to know what you will risk for your dream, for the adventure of being alive. I want to know if you can see beauty, even when it's not pretty, every day. It doesn't interest me to know where you live or how much money you have. I want to know if you can get up after a night of grief and despair, weary, bruised to the bone, and do what needs to be done to feed the children. It doesn't interest me who you know or how you came to be here. I want to know if you will not shrink back. It doesn't interest me where or what or with whom you have studied. I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. I want to know if you can be alone with yourself and if you truly like the company you keep in the empty moments. Can you make life worthwhile? In my case, as a child, it was mother making life worthwhile. 
Let me share this motherly ties. Motherly ties are precious things woven through the years of memories of togetherness, of laughter, love, and tears. Motherly ties are cherished things forged in childhood days by love of mother deep and true and sweet familiar ways. Motherly ties are treasured things and far though we may roam the tender bond with those we love still pull our hearts toward home. Mm. It is gratitude that expands my ability to receive beauty in my life. As I step into the shower each morning, I have gratitude for the abundance of hot water that pours over my body. I am awed at the fortune in my life when I think of how in most times and places only a privileged few, the wealthiest, the most powerful, have been able to afford the pleasure that most ordinary people in developed countries just take for granted. The gratitude I feel opens me to the small moment of beauty in my life. There are thousands of moments like this in our lives every day. Watching a disabled friend labor to cross a room reminds me to be grateful for the strength in my legs. Our anticipated loss of what we take for granted reminds us of what is precious, of what matters, and what does not. Tell me, can you make life worthwhile? Can you see beauty? Can you let it renew your commitment to live every day? I want to be awed every day by the truth, pretty or painful, and let it open me to the beauty that surrounds me and draws me deeper into my own life. Make life worthwhile. My closing thought. A flower cannot blossom without sunshine. And man cannot live without love. Many things will catch your eye. But only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47. This is John Willard from the farm.